I had my first migraine at two years old. So then uh, moving forward to grade school, went through quite a few different issues. In fact, being sent to the principal's office for faking illness uh, because my left side would go out when I'd have a migraine and my friends would try and have to walk me to and from physical ed education. And for some reason they thought it was an attention seeking thing. So I ended up in the nurse's office at the principal's waiting some days until my folks could go ahead and call and get me cleared or until they thought that I was done faking it. But then when I hit 10 years old, I hit puberty and they came on with some gusto. Back then they didn't really have the phrase PMS. The headaches were really bad. I'd probably miss two or three days a week. I'd have homework I'd have to make up all the time. I had to get tutors constantly. Made it through high school though, even with the debilitating nature of them. So the first medication that I can remember truly being given for that was a medication called Wigrain, a pill that has at least 100 milligrams per tablet of caffeine in it. And the instructions were to take one every 15 minutes until the headaches would go away, which kind of left me like someone that would be on speed, shaky, uncomfortable, up all night, agitated. The headache was still there. That lasted for about a year and a half, and then we move on into high school as far as other medications where the doctors finally threw up their hands because they thought, this is so superficial, why is it bothering you? It must be you. It must be that you're just too stressed out. So they just started giving me Tylenol-3, which is Tylenol with codeine. From about the time I was 16 until about the time I was 21, they had me on pretty much a low-grade narcotic but still a narcotic nonetheless. So I went to a neurologist who did a three hour intake. And at the very beginning of the interview, I can remember telling him, look, I said, I, I don't wanna take any of these medications if I can keep from it. And he said, well, here's about four different medications of which one of them was a narcotic again. And he said, I want you to take these and then um, I need you to come back and we'll do a progress report on you. And I said, wait a minute, we discussed that we were gonna try and go away from doing the narcotics. And he said, well, if you're not gonna take the medications that I prescribe, I can't help you. So we've gone through all of those medications, all of those diets, all of the doctors looking at you like you're nuts. I went through at least 12 different medical trials. Some of them shocking yourself, others light sensitivity, heat sensitivity. I don't know how many food journals I've kept or exercise journals I've kept or stress journals I've kept. Got me good at journaling, but didn't help my headaches. The last round of medication that they put me on and my docs were running out of stuff to do at a world renowned place. I even had a doc say, I don't know. I said, could we do deep brain stim like they do for Parkinson's? He said, I'll tell you what, I'd do that if I thought it would help, but I don't think it will. So by the time that I got to the biologics, it tanked my immune system. Within the first year, I've, I had had two respiratory infections and a bilateral ear infection that ended up moving into a fungal. But I started surfing the web and looking for doctors in the area that could go back to what had always helped me, which was going back to nutrition, something that would help my body heal itself. Around that time, I had a new employee that came in and she was just, we'd have chats in between different things that we were doing. And she was telling me about a doctor that had helped her. She told me about all the different things. And I'm like, oh my goodness, this is so amazing. The more conversations that I had with this gal, the more I realized this has got to be what I've been looking for. So she gave me your phone number. And I can remember giving you a phone call and doing the 15 minute interview where I told you kind of a brief history. And then you told me your approach. Let's get your filtration organs calmed down. Let's get your gut healthy. Let's get you the emotional support then that you need to get through this. She said, I want you to understand that this is a partnership. So refreshing again. <laughs> You're gonna be helping me help you. I've spent thousands of dollars every year. When you're sick, when you're struggling just to get your head off the pillow every day, when you've tried everything, the physicians that are trying to help you tell you that it's your fault. When you know that you're doing everything that can help you up and help you out, money's not the object. You can't go through life 
just surviving. I can't tell you how many friendships, how many relationships, how many working relationships or jobs I've lost. I look at the cost of that versus money and versus help. It's completely worth it. And on top of it, there is so much hope. Dr. Eichens, I've got to thank you because when I came into your office, I had blood pressure that was 190 over 110. I had a rash going down my leg and around the bottom of my foot that I couldn't figure out what it was. It just wouldn't go away. I had a migraine every stinking day. There was not one. I was driving to work some days and having to turn home because I had defecated in my own trousers because of issues from the medications that they had given me or I had thrown up down myself while I'm driving. I was carrying Emesis bags everywhere I went so that if I had to throw up, I could at least turn my head and do it gracefully. And I don't know how many times I've been unsafe behind the wheel because I've had to throw up and drive at the same time. Now I'm down to maybe one headache every two weeks. It's not something that lasts 24 hours because I couldn't tell before when the last headache ended and the next one began. Now I'm having full weeks where I am not in pain. I'm piecing stuff back together and getting back into the swing of things and actually living life for the first time in a while. While, while, while. If you're looking for help, it's worth it. You really need to check it out. Life is too precious. This is the only one that we have. It's worth the money. Thank you so much. Thank you.